George Reister, um, rocking the uh, LA, a LA V suit as uh, usual. Yeah, LA, a a a the LA V as usual. Oh, George Reister, I've seen your blog. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you're a <laughs> blogger, my man. Yeah. Talk about social media and sports. Oh man, it's a it's a, it's a huge it's a integral now. Every everybody's doing doing it. You have to build your your own brand. Every everybody wants to to, to take over the market and, and capitalize and make make as much money and be as popular as possible. So star power aside, like obviously the guys like Shaq and Cinco are going to be popular when they do it online. But all that stuff being equal, what is it that makes a successful sports blogger from an athlete perspective? Oh, I think that you have to be interesting and uh, and speak honestly because I, I think that uh, people value realness and value the, the fact that you're able to, to, to take a stance on something where regardless of whether they agree with your opinion or not they, they just want to know the fact that you actually have a valid opinion now can you share an anecdote from your experience as a, as a blogger that sort of shaped your opinion or, or maybe changed the way you thought about the media um just the fact that 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 you realize that that some Sometimes people say things just to get a rise out of, out, of, out of people, as opposed to maybe that's not necessarily how they feel in their uh, in, the, in their heart. And at the end of the day, they're just doing their job. Now, which teammate of yours, which NFL guy out there, should be blogging that's not blogging? Uh, Maurice Jones Drew. Maurice, Maurice Jones Drew. He's fun and interesting and uh, everything like uh, like that. He'd be a perfect blogger, but I think he'd be a better video blogger than. Uh, than necessarily writer. All right, so give us a final shout out. Oh, follow, follow shout out, LA, LA Party. How can I miss it? Here, you wish you were here too.